Well, Danielle and I named the farm Sumac Grove Farm uh, because there are groves of sumac, oh, in little pockets of the farm. And we both love the sumac. And it has a beautiful uh, berry horn that comes up. And it's just a, they're just beautiful groves. So that's why we named it Sumac Grove Farm. Um, we, can, we do, uh, for our eggs right now, we have black astroloths. And but we're going to move into some buff Orpingtons before too long, uh, and they're good layers, and they lay for several years, and they give us wonderful eggs that are we call them uh, golden eggs because they're so yellow. Um, recently, we uh, acquired a dozen turkeys. They're Narragansetts, which is again a heritage breed that is in danger, and uh, they're good foragers. They're good mothers. Um, and they grow, they're pretty rapidly growing, which is good. A herd of pigs, I guess. Uh, and they're called large blacks. And this is a breed that's particularly suited to foraging, finding their own food out in the woods and in the fields. Uh, we do feed them some grain because they need that. I make my own mix that I feed them, uh, my own slop mix. Uh, they're large blacks, they're large pigs, and they have big floppy ears that flop over their eyes. We also have Icelandic sheep, which is one of Danielle's loves. And the Icelandics, again, are, are totally adapted to being out. They need almost no shelter. Uh, winter uh, does not phase them one bit. I mean, they were raised, they were grew and, and developed in Iceland. Uh, but they're, they're, they're very smart, um, and they have wonderful wool, wonderful thick wool that is great for spinning and weaving. But they're multi-purpose, so they're also great milkers. They produce a wonderful milk, and they also produce meat. So it's a, sort of a multi, multi-use animal. So I think that's all. We got chickens, turkeys, pigs, and sheep right now. <laughs> I think we're. I'm farming for several reasons. Uh, one is I think it, it's a lifestyle that is so wonderful for children and for families. The other reason is that it produces food, really good food for us. Uh, it co just comes from the earth. Uh, that's another good reason. I mean, we try and, I mean, all of our animals get treated really well. I mean, they live good lives, full lives, and then they provide us with sustenance. You know, just having seen in schools what some kids eat and for me, I see a lot of things from the children's perspective because I've worked with children a lot. And they just, it, it seems toxic sometimes what kids have to eat. And it really, it makes me sad. So it really is wonderful to think that we could be at the origin of where food can come from and that it's wholesome and completely life-giving.